Hello everybody, it's Budrich again, it's a new episode of Let's Linux and I call this one uh, Let's adjust the size of this window a bit and then we type lolban rice the config Yeah Alright um, in this uh, episode, I don't know exactly how long it will be or anything, but we'll we'll see. Uh, I will show you some 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 tips and tricks on how to um, make the i3 config file and maybe other config files too a, a bit more uh, manageable and readable and editable. Yeah, um, first off. Um, yeah, let's start uh, Sublime and, and uh, display the config. As you can see in the bottom left corner, sometimes a little uh, notification pops up. When I launch D menu here, uh, mod D, you can see it says super D and the, the, the command. So every time I launch a, a i3 key binding, it will pop up a notification there. It's uh, a little script that I got from a guy on, on uh, uh, the i3 IRC channel um, and it uses Dunst for, for the notifications. <clears throat> whatever, whatever, whatever. I should also tell you that I, I thought we, we, or we, I, I will do this. Uh, if you watch my last video, uh, number three, I believe I call it i3 Fira, a long video where I uh, showed you how to configure and, and uh, using the, the layout script that I wrote, i3 Fira. I made a, I, ha I started from scratch with, with a brand new i3 config file and, uh, and added some of these uh, special key bindings and stuff to that. Uh, I thought uh, maybe I should just continue uh, configuring this config file and for every or may, maybe not every but but for a while now it, it will be a couple of i3 specific uh, videos and i thought i i will i will um, work on the same config file and then i will make separate um, repositories or maybe not separate repositories but one repository that's called the let's linux or something on github and upload each version of the config file to separate the folders in that repository and um, uh, yeah, with the links and everything, like like show notes, but but uh, in a cooler way on GitHub and with all the files you need if, if there are any more files and stuff, you know. By doing so, you can follow fo follow uh, and it's easy to see the changes and everything. But if I'm going to do this, I really want to. Uh, uh, touch up the, the config file a bit before to make it easier to edit and easier to view it's I, I have some some um, some ways to do that and I have written a guide here we can go to workspace 2 where I have prepared the Vivaldi browser here is my homepage budrich.github.io uh, Inside the September folder here, you can find i3 setup, which is uh, here I have written down m most of the stuff that I will uh, cover in this video. Um, it's about how to configure the, the, the config file. But I will try to, to make a video about this now. Okay, okay, okay. First thing I want to do is... Uh, these uh, hash marks here it, it indicates that this this line is a comment it will not be read by i3 when it parsed the, the config file so you you can write a, a comment just oops uh, anything and um, yeah ju just just a, you know what a comment is whatever um but uh, there's a lot of comments in, in the default um, default uh, config file, and I I think I, I will delete all the comments here. It's better to look at this link here, the user guide. I also have that prepared here. 
better to have that side by side when you're editing the config than having a lot of comments in the config itself. It just gets cluttered in my opinion. I'm using Sublime so it should I should be able to do something like this, 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 there. Yeah, it deleted most of the comments. Some of them, yeah, like this one. And yeah, whatever, we can leave them. And then we can make a nice header here i3 config yeah and here's another thing it's a sublime and a, a very specific here but i i have made a, a small package i haven't really released it yet there is a, you you can get the get it on github now i call it simple syntax and then I put in hash here because it's hash marks for comments. Save this file. And now uh, all comments will, will uh, get syntax highlighted. I can also uh, toggle comments now with the sublime default to toggle comment key. Like this. I can comment everything out. And a cool thing that's unique to this package is that you can make sections. So you can write, let's see now if it was like, yeah, this section one and then I can go down here and I can make uh, section two and then I can go to these sections with a uh, go to symbol or it's not it's called symbols in in sublime so this only works in sublime but even if you don't use sublime it, it can be good to make something similar like just marking up your your sections like this Okay, already a lot cleaner file. Next thing is, uh, yeah, we can go down here and look a bit at the custom commands that we made last time. Um, this line, le le let's isolate this. Uh, oops. This line. Mod left exec no startup id exec i34 dash f l. It's a really long command, and you can see it's the same things written over and over again at several places. And if you look at this part, mod with a dollar sign in front of it, that means that it reads uh, this variable that is uh, that you can set in, in i3 you can set uh, variables in your config. Uh, by default, it's only one variable set and it's uh, this. Mod translates to mod4. Really stupid variable since the variable itself is <laughs> uh, long as, uh, as the original word. It's four sign, four characters, four characters, but whatever. Doesn't save much time to do that. But you could easily switch here to mod 3 and then all mod would read like mod 3. I think you know how variables work. Okay. But you can make much more uh, or more advanced uh, variables. I like to do... We can start with, with this one. Set. That's how you define that you want to create a variable. Then a dollar sign. And then you, you name the variable. Let's name this super. And you don't, uh, you, you can have as many words as you want to in, in, in your variable. So I could do this. Now I put both bind sim and mod4 in the super variable here. And now I can replace, I can basically replace all bind sim mod with just a super variable instead. So if I do that, Alt F3 is uh, select all in, in Sublime, but maybe, you're, so you see now al already much shorter, cleaner, instead of having the bind sim and the mo mod super, it and of course super means super key, mod for Windows key, whatever, you know. And then, then I also have this, 
an exec that means uh, uh, tells i3 to start a, a external command kind of like i3.4 it's a, it's a script so you can use this to exec uh, a script you can exec uh, any command that you could uh, execute from the command line basically with, with this exec no no startup id that's a a flag that you can give exec and that will basically i'm not 100 percent sure exactly how it works but if you put in no startup id you never get that annoying uh, timer uh, cursor that you often get in i3 so i have this by default in all my exec commands and then I'm not really sure why, but I, I remember someone once told me that it's good to have a second exec again, because then it will exec the exec command, the, the shell command. So I always put, I, I always have this when I launch a command. And we can also put this in a variable. So you can do this, um, set, uh, let's call it exe like window style and you see here you can have uh, uh, when it's white space it doesn't matter if it's one two or ten so you can uh, align your your stuff in the config neatly okay so now we have uh, a variable for that then we can replace all these guys or well, now it will replace that but i copied it select all X, uh, maybe this was a bad way to show you but now I have basically replaced all you see here and here already cleaner but we could also shorten it down even more here with the i3 feeder which is a command we use at many places mm. So we could make a, a, a special one for wh when we want those. So let's do that. Fyra. Then we put this guy in. And then we can replace I hope you're following now. I, I guess it's a bit confusing this, but you get it. Fyra. Okay, so this is a bit cleaner in my opinion, and it's not hard to, to understand or read these commands at all. Here is one where I forgot to put the exec in in between here so we could replace this yeah this is a good vi visual with fyra or maybe we should do this even let's duplicate this line comment it out fyra. and then we can change this to the original remove all variables find sim mod so this was the original and this is the new I like this one better it's easier to read in my opinion and it is uh, it is uh, shorter it's cleaner it's better in my opinion so that's basically how variables work and there's one last one maybe we can keep it like this I actually like to keep put these two combined commands or this whole because this is such a special thing that you will use a lot for you, you remember moving a, a container or, or a, assigning a window to a special container in the i3 feeder layout so I like to, to make one for these but may I, I will leave it like this. I think it's it, it's uh, it might even be more confusing. And here we can also put fyra. Okay. 
So now it's uh, more readable, mm, easier to find, and, and then create. I will create more sections here and stuff. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. I think I think um, I settled there, and in the next one I will. Um, demo and, and show you how to use uh, i3 run which is another script in uh, my i3 as collection here we can look at it real quickly here this is a run or race uh, run or race or hide script for i3 wm it looks uh, for a window matching criteria and it uh, applies different action depending on the state of the window so this uh, command gives us the power to, to basically minimize windows and, uh, and have one single command to, to both launch, focus and hide windows. And when, when it's used together with i3.4 it, it becomes even more powerful. I will show you uh, this um, script in the next video. But um, Right now I haven't made the repository for, for, uh, that I told you about, but soon there will be a, a Let's Linux repository here under my, uh, on my GitHub where you can find uh, the, the config file that, that we just created here. And then we'll uh, keep on building on this till, till we get a really, really cool uh, uh, customized i3 config with lots of uh, strange stuff going on I think uh, in in the next video I will um, before I start I, I will create sections and and align stuff uh, neatly in the in the config file so it will be look a bit I, I will not add any commands I will just uh, uh, yeah you get it make nice sections and and uh, and, and make it look nicer, but I will not change anything more than I have done in this video. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you watch the next one because it will be really cool. And I'm really uh, i3 run is uh, just as I, I'm I'm just as proud and and happy with the result of of, of um, that script as I am with i3 feed on. Okay. See you in the next video.